Hey everybody, Travis with Food Forest Design Solutions. And uh, coming to you from Minnetrista on a Saturday afternoon. Just finished planting all the, the fruit tree guilds. And uh, basically got everything planted. I have uh, some vines to plant still. The passion flower and the uh, climbing red roses. And I got some... Uh, in the swale, I still have to put the dogwoods in the ground, but that's not a big deal. I wanted to get everything else done. But I'm gonna flip you around. The GoPro battery is dead. I don't know how that happened, because it was 100% when I left this morning. But when I go to use it, it was dead. So figure that out. But I'm gonna flip you around, show you where I'm at. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to turn sideways because that's the best way to do this. All right. This is going to have the red climbing roses going up. And uh, got some different types of grasses. Fire grass, blue stem, and uh, some other one over there. I can't remember all the names. Got some yarrow in here. Echinacea, Black Eyed Susan's, got a couple tall sunflowers, and I'm trying to remember what the tall one in the back is, but basically this is set up for a nice pollinator type centerpiece to look at out the front window. And in the, in the spring, I'm going to plant some herbs in here towards the tree, the trunk on the top row. And, uh, and like I said before, this is a Hugo Coulter bed. So on the very bottom layer is cardboard. And then we have about six inches of organic material, leaves, stems, twigs, bark, stuff like that. And then we have about... Uh, six to eight inches of soil on top of that and then we have mulch on top of that and i'll be adding more mulch uh once i get the vines planted and everything's gonna go to sleep for the winter here pretty quick so we're gonna put some more mulch on there i got a little bit of mulch left here then we got an apric apricot tree guild over here and then we got another one over here I got a little bit of soil left over. I gotta move it. This soil. I'm gonna move it over here in this empty spot over here. And this is gonna fill up all the raised garden beds next spring. Um, but we're gonna tarp it for the winter and use it next spring. Another guild here. Now we're gonna go through to the backyard where I have a. Uh, there's eight f fruit trees back there we got uh two apple two plum two service berry and two cherry and then a bunch of supporting plants in the guilds and oh the squirrel is trying to get in my stuff already a little um, and my next thing is I'm going to be fencing off the trees I'm going to be wrapping them with wire fencing so the deer don't get at them because I've already seen the deer I already started pecking away at the cherry trees and this apple tree right here you can tell and this one here a little bit it was a lot fuller yesterday they, so yeah damn deer but here we go. We got all your. I'll have to come up with a. I'll post the uh, plant list of this design uh, with all the pictures I have. And uh, then we're going to go. A couple of service berries, or uh, gooseberries right here. Hard to see everything because all the leaves are on the ground. We got those two. Now we got the raspberry hedge, and then we got a cherry tree 
guild here. I have to add some more mulch to that. I uh, had a couple of rookies yesterday come and work and uh, yeah, I gotta clean that up. Plus I just got done planting in there so it's all messed up too. And we got a couple of service berries, I mean gooseberries here. Then we got a red, red currant, black currant, red currant, black currant. Wait, 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 wait. Red, black, red, black, red. Yeah, okay. Yep, or no, sorry. <laughs> that's funny. Red, black, red, black, and that's just some extra mulch. Have me fooled. Then we got this other cherry tree gill here, and you can tell it wasn't, it was a lot fuller yesterday. Thing got some twigs, some branches eaten off. Here, I got my wire fence. And then I got some smaller wire fence for the berry bushes. They don't seem to be bothered over there, but I'm going to wrap them anyway. And then we got the hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut over there. And then over here we got, this is a kind of a swale area. It's a small swale. But this is, I don't know if you can see how everything slopes this way towards that swale so it can go to the culvert out to the street so to slow that water down and keep it in the system a little bit we have a service berry um elderberry red elderberry black elderberry and some black chokeberry so two of those two service berries and just thinking about putting some grasses in the middle and then over here in the swale I had to have the uh, utility people come out and mark where the electricity goes so I don't hit anything with my auger but the dogwoods are going to go on this side of the swale I'll show you See, there's a dogwoods here. And then I got a couple of other, other uh, some blue iris or something like that. It's gonna go in there and some other, some other plant with really, really long roots. But that's where we're at. Um, and so I'm gonna get back to wrapping these trees and then I'm gonna call it a day. And then all I have left to do is build the, the herb spiral and I'm gonna pick the bricks up for that tomorrow and I'm gonna build the herb spiral and fill it with soil and then that will be finished. And then next spring all I have to do is plant that out and then we'll do the raised garden bed area right in that cleared spot and then we're gonna do the a tunnel trellis with some cattle panels. So there's a little sidewalk over there and we're gonna put the trellis over the sidewalk and have a, a walk through uh, vining, vegetable and fruit trellis. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, I will get a bunch of pictures of this and get it up on my website. Um, but hey, if you want to have the Garden of Eden in your backyard, you wanna have food forever, uh, you have kids, you want them to grow up with food in the backyard, they can walk right out the back door and go have a snack. You know, anytime your kid says, hey, mom, or hey, dad, I'm hungry. Here, let me see. Uh, I better not. It's going to mess everything up. And uh, if they say, hey, mom, hey, dad, I'm hungry, all you have to do is say, go out, the, out in the backyard and get whatever you want. And nothing is going to be bad, so hey, go have as many apples as you want. Go have as many cherries as you want. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, honeyberries. Anything you can imagine. Your kids can go right out the back door and grab something to eat. With zero poisons. Zero pesticides, zero herbicides, zero chemical fertilizers. Everything's natural. I design natural ecosystems 
and do not use any chemicals. Um, so that's that. Anyway, contact me, Travis, at foodforestabundance.com or visit foodforestdesign.solutions and uh, schedule a consultation with me. And we're running out of time here. Probably got about, if I'm lucky, about three and a half weeks left. Maybe four. Maybe a month left to put trees in the ground. So if you want to get, get some fruit trees in the ground before winter so you can have fruit next spring, let's get to work. Let's get it done. I'll design your yard, get it installed right away. We can rush it. Um, but uh, give me a call. Talk to you soon. Grow food, not lawn. See ya.